Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as everyone's favorite gate, Heaven's Gate. We're led by Swank Michael, baptized in the water of the powers of mighty steam engines that have of Heaven's Gate. My Saint Michael would go from a humble settler to a man who spoke to God. It was he who instructed Michael in the ways of war, because as his name foretold, Michael was to be the leader of an army against the devil himself. Unfortunately for the wasteland, Michael considers everyone a sinner, as do I. Divided leadership. St. Michael stands above all others as a leader, as a mouthpiece for God himself who cannot lead us astray. Theocratic elite. Men who speak the word of God are held above all others in society for reasons clear to all. Blessings of steam. Ooh. Steam is a blessing. A blessing that has allowed us to survive where so many others have failed in. Steam core powered weapons. In the old world along, the Northwest Commune, there was a great deal of investment put into an ingenious creation known as the Steam Corps. Originally, it was put forward by the Northwest Commonwealth during the Old War during the prototyping stages of the AER project as a potential candidate. It was rejected in favor of designs using MS cells. Despite this, the economics of the region had become too reliant on the rejected Fission Corps, aptly known as Steam Corps, design, and thus development of the weapons fueled on Steam Corps continued. These Steam Corps give all of our equipment a powerful kick in the strength they could give out, yet also come with certain rare failure incidents, but legacy of scripture. The Word of God has always been the supreme law of the land. Even in times where Heaven's Gate has been led by more moderate leaders, these divine writings have always inspired people generation after generation. Pilgrims cometh. Pilgrims have traveled to our lands, whether they're intentionally or unintentionally, and for the better part of se several decades. For these people, churches and shrines have been built, and yet one has always been more popular than the other, but the legacy of Scripture. The Heaven's Gate has always heeded the Word of God, being directed by various prophets and leaders throughout its long history. Preachers have come and gone, speaking the good word of desperate people. Many verses have always held great weight with us, but none more so than the following. Ephesians 6.11. More construction speed. For military factories. Or Isaiah 1.19. Mm, I want to go to war faster, but I want to build up faster with civvies. Pagan con conversion. Tribes have come to join our flock trot flock time and time again, sometimes individuals, sometimes entire tribes. The rival can never be predicted and often strain our resources. Those making the journey to Heaven's Gate <clears throat> often travel great distances, knowing in their heart of hearts that somewhere past the horizon is the last true bastion of godliness in this forlorn and forgotten wasteland. Yet, when they arrive, there's always a question. Has their pilgrimage ended, or are they now duty-bound to seek out and seek the faithful, uh, lead the faithful here? What does the Bible say of such things? Genesis 3.15, or 13.15, Psalm 23.4. Ooh, I like the stability. Monthly population really doesn't do much for us, honestly, so... The world was once on the great cusp of greatness, they say, or with a hubris. But sudden energy drilled deep beneath the waves of the last of Earth's oil. They harnessed the sun to keep out old Vegas ablaze, and in Yellowstone, once a park, they drilled into Earth's marrow for energy. Marvelous in men's eyes, all night and day, uh, unto them a fire blaze, tireless and unquenchable. Poseidon's Hephaestus project, they say, would have powered 20 million homes for thousands of years. They say it would have solved the resource crisis, or they say it would set off a volcano in another nuclear winter, but they say lots of things, don't they? Yellowstone's rangers refuse to activate the planet, but others wonder, God shall condemn man for such hubris, but innocence lost. Is that me? The tragedy at innocent loss can never be understated. The rage of the pagan fell upon the peaceful pilgrim, and it is said that blood spilt there stains the grand, ground red to this day. A word of warning to all faithful. I have a cup of coffee here, too. Pagans come. If those who do not hear the word of God may still hear it of the gate, and may still travel here. The concerns that we face in this ancient question of how to deal with those pagan visitors are eternal. There are those that feel we should protect and house those lost souls, and those who believe that we should reject them. Corinthians 12, 2. Ooh. Tw Luke 12, 30. Oh, more... Oh, this is the toughest choice. We definitely need more population. Um, we definitely do. But we do are using Old World Blues, Tech Expanded, Generic Divisions Revamped, Bitches Formable. Um, so... I'm probably... Uh, we're going to get more political power anyways, but we could use more anyway. Political power is good to get all this stuff, and honestly, you have a lot of decisions. Ah, oh, god dang it. You know, we're gonna struggle. We're gonna go with political power. We're gonna go with Luke, one of the Gospels. Um, that's not bad. Building stats are okay. The Great Debate? Uh, let's go with the Great Debate. Um, the legacy of the Great Debate is ancient. Dating back to the years following the Great War, wherein the people feared violence might break out between the peoples of differing faiths, and said on each Sunday, All who have faith in God are encouraged to do intellectual and theological battle with one another, where all can see. Innocence lost. Essence is more than a little small settlement on the very edge of what we know, often visited by traveling pagans and tribals coming down from the northern wildlands. These people often arrive to trade and exchange goods, and in turn we teach them of God. Yet often there are groups more resistant to, resistance, resistant to this than others, 
whose elders and warlike souls who feel that our lessons are an affront to their own misguided beliefs. Tensions run high, and our method of dealing with pagans will play a great part in what happens next. May God have mercy. Christ is lessened. Oh, way less encryption, but better encryption. Also, we're advanced on infantry, sport equipment, special forces, and power armor, as well as everything on this right side aircraft, industry, electronics, construction, and exploitation, but not naval stuff, which is honestly fine with us because we don't really care too much. But you know what? If we have advanced power armor, we have to use it. We have to. Uh, victory of the clergy. More political power, more support. Council of Christ. It's not bad, too. The prophet prevails. They're critically challenged. Way more political power. Ooh. Weakness stupidity goes down, but more weakness works for it. Our archangel rises. One prophet. Huh. Religious evolution. I kind of want to go this way quickly. Heathens of High Chapel. I'd like to beat the crap out of them, too, but... Um, honestly, I don't remember. I've played both sides before. I like both. I, I kind of want to go with... The Archangel Rises, the Prophet Prevails, the word of the Prophet has quite literally been written on the subway walls, down below the city, in the households, dining halls, sacred places, his words are spoken. The great debate has become less a debate and more a rallying call to all who wish to see him cast down the old elite through wit, word, and sheer willpower. A culture of war, oh. Religious, religious, no, we have no minutes oh, let's get this first, so. It's a culture of war, religious. Rapid militarism and religious evolution. Embracing violence. I kind of want to embrace violence. Tenth Crusade, huh? And we're going to go to war with anybody, everyone anyways. Unlocks conversion decisions. An eye for an eye. Learning to forgive. Christ is lessened. Boilers of justice. Um, Ohm's Laws, nice. Flying Orders, not bad. Since you achieve arming the clergy. Ooh, widespread conscription, yes. <clears throat> let's go. Oh, let's still go with this one, why not? Screw it. Having this many research slots is so nice, though. Five is so good. And we're going to go refine warfare for our uh, what we're doing right now, anyways. Um, anything else? More political power, please? Ooh, that's pretty good. More compliance growth. I like that. The political power is not bad, too. I always do this guy, because it's, it's political power is always good to get, you know? And we're going to use it all pretty much up. We're going to get two. And we're going to grab even more, because we can. The Golden Gecko. I always use this one, because it's only 5% more political power, but 5% more is still 5% more. Get more stability. Slightly more caps. So, overall, it's a pretty good one, in my opinion. Wasteland, you kill or you die. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. We get a scavenging program because we definitely need a scavenging program. We already have four cities, which is pretty nice. We have five divisions of infantry, which I converted some militia, but they're all pretty decent. We do have a unit of power armor, too. So, the only 10 combo with, but I love power armor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go and grab that 1% recruitable population. And we're going to grab the gecko. And then we're going to go for army XP. Nice. Now we get over to a day. Caravan Guard's okay, that one's okay. I sometimes choose that one. This one's good. Get yeah, organization and attack. That's very good. Uh, conventional warfare's not bad, but really? No, refined warfare? That's weird, okay. Bring your civilization's okay. Flyboy, pretty generic. I don't think we have anything unique here. No. Alright, well, whatever. Archangel rises. All who would stand against the will of the prophet have been subdued, and those remain kneel in his presence. Divinity walks among us, and with them what comes the word of God. There are none who can consider the theocratic elite anything but pretenders in his presence, for surely the man has God on his side. Absolutely. I'm sorry, I hit the side very hard, too. Nice. So, we're going to lose 0.35 political power right now, which really sucks. Uh, we're going to lose a little bit more political power, which yeah, really sucks. That really sucks. But that's okay, because we, we'll get one profit, so. And then we remove divided leadership, will give us 10% more recruitable population factor, as uh, well as... 
uh, point to more day PP, and get political power too. A time of change is upon us, and the people flock to heaven's gate. They drop to their knees in their churches and whisper eager prayers to our Lord, asking for forgiveness and mercy. The world is changing, and at last, religion changes with it. More research speed. Mm, we could use more stability here too. Group country management. Cost a little more political power. I'm okay with that. Mm, never gonna choose that one. You know what? I did say I want army XP, so. That's good. Yeah, this game can be a lot of fun. Especially the um, not really generic nation. It's, it's not really because it has a unique focus tree, but it's I just I just enjoy it a lot. There you go. Ooh, not, oh. Just learn as much and as fast as you possibly can. Nice. More daily army XP. And you know what? We'll just win. This one's probably not worth it. Plus two weekly manpower. Honestly, not worth it. We'll do it anyways because we can. Maybe we can optimize training. It basically only gives you 50 more caps, but I'll still take it. Nice. We got a lot of border with Heaven's. Or, where Heaven's Gate? Hi, Chapel. Faithful gunman. Pastor Brown. Very nice. Brawler. The Billowing Cathedral. You know what? We could use more political power. Why not? Or we could wait, too. Hmm. Infrastructure. Oh, get a research slot down here, too. That's pretty good. A six research slot? Holy crap. That's a lot. Birth of the Gate. So this one you need rapid militarism, huh? Oh, this is Lost Grace and Blessings over here. Incidents. Developing the Gate. The Gate is the seat of a power from which all our influence and faith stems. Building the city further is the utmost priority for our people. For once the Gate is built to its fullest, the will of the lands around it truly prosper as they did before the war. Only then can we begin to rebuild which, which was, that which was lost. More research speed. Nice. Let's see. The steam. Oh, wow. I can have a new member of that. Oh, that's pretty freaking far away. Um, the building, building Cathedral. In the very heart of the Heaven's Gate, <clears throat> there's always been a massive ruined cathedral, a relic of the old world that survived where all other things crumbled to dust and ruin. The renovation of this cathedral has been the work of thousands of men, a thousand men over several decades. Choir calls all within the city to mass, and the smoke calls all within a hundred miles to the city. <coughs> oh. um, we could keep working that way. My map, we could go that way too, but we don't really need to. Support commit just a little bit ahead of time, but that's alright with us. That one's always pretty good. The caravan trader, I like more caps income. I don't mind making more stuff too. Surgeant. 5% more. I right, just get more money now first. Slightly more. It's not much more. Actually, we're not actually making that much. Not that much more, anyways, but whatever. Increase our PP? Oh, yeah. So develop a gate. People, profits grace. Bring your arms workshops. Uh, caps are okay. We'll get more caps later. Profits blessing. By the will of God Almighty, the order has been passed down by the prophet himself. The prophets ho hollow are to become a center of war and weapons manufacturing. From the mighty arms that shall flow from this land, which will gain the strength needed to reshape this world. Nucleus Grace. 
Ah, I'll go this way too. Nucleus is a blessing. By the will of God Almighty, the order has been passed down by the Prophet himself. The steam is beginning the center of war and weapons manufacturing. For the mighty arm shall flow from his land, which shall we gain the strength needed to reshape his world, or this world. We're just going to go all hard right. Innocence lost blessing. By the will of God Almighty, the order has been passed down by the Prophet himself. Judas' shrine has become a center of war and weapons manufacturing. For the mighty arms that shall flow from this land, which will gain the strength needed to reshape this world. And also the same, but Peter's Peak has now become the center of war and weapons manufacturing as well. And the birth of the gate. Heaven's gates are born, and from all across the wasteland come those seeking wealth and power. Arms of manufacturers travel great distances to sell to us. Caravans flow to our capital for the first time in ages. The city is larger than... Ooh. Um, uh, the ruins that it was once, once was built within. For the first time since the Great War, the city truly grows. That's pretty good. Nice. There you go. Have at thee. And we're going to grab it next. Uh, we're going to have power armor, so... A little bit less hardness for more max speed, maybe? More breakthrough? Sure, why not? Alright. Good. You're done making these because I want to edit these divisions and make them even larger eventually, so... There you go. You're also going to be inspirational. You have to be inspirational if you're a man of God, so... It's kind of part of the job. You are a beloved leader as well. Alright, stuff there. I want to wait till we get to new crossroads. We're going to get all these ones done. And then, I don't mind. A sixth research slot would be insane. Surf them in the Steam Age. The duty one owes the Heaven's Gate a second to none, for it is the last true bastion of godliness left in this world, powered not only by the steam of nuclear fusion, but the wills, hearts, and minds of the faithful. All who live must do their part for the cause of God, striving against mind and body to build a tomorrow worthy of being called a home. Expanding the steamwork pipelines. Pipelines that run from the city of Heaven's Gate are more than highways through which the heat and fuel are carried to the larger kingdom. They are highways that pilgrims travel down and missionaries travel up. They are the promise of water and warmth to the sick and cold in our realm. A constant reminder that they are not forgotten, not forsaken. To expand such lines is to expand the faith and clerical education. Uh, let's see. The minds of the youth are often forgotten in the wasteland, filled only with bare necessities. What it takes to build a shelter, what it takes to clean a gun, to survive the harshness of this new world yet among our clerical education is available to all those who wish to have it. For a few prayers and promise of encouraging others to seek it. The Heathens of High Chapel. The Heathens of High Chapel have been an affront to his glory for far too long. Their defiance of the wonder of our technology and way of life has left us with little other choice. But the time mercy has ended long ago. Ooh, strike at the Reformers. Crusade against the Anointed. Reformers. Anointed. I kind of prefer the Reformers, so that's we could go straight down south. Reformers in any society oppose a danger to the faith. Worse yet, they were once in leagues with their bitter rivals in High Chapel. Let us show these Reformers what happens to those that question God's glory. Or we can do this one. The Lord's anointed feel that they are righteous in God's image, yet they threaten the safety of our great river through their desire of conquest. If they were to become too powerful, they could pose a threat to our holy mission in this world. Let us stop this before it's too late. Which, I like the reform. I don't want to do the reforms because we did technically reform with the prophet, to a degree, I guess. So, we're going to go to that one instead. It doesn't really matter. We're going to take them both out in, in the end anyways. And purity or principle? That people have to be pure. Well, it makes more sense for us to do purity, I guess. Just because, like, we're, everyone's a sinner... And they're not pure. So we have to reform them. Yeah. We just we do not discriminate here. We literally do not discriminate. Probably. Um, we're here to beat the crap out of everybody. To make sure they see the, the true light of God. So now we're going to see if we can do anything here. As the guys are going to get whacked really hard. But we can do okay with uh, special forces. Even though we're out of, we have no manpower. Because I'm increasing the size of our divisions. Our faithful warriors are not 20 combat with. With a decent slew of stuff down here. And our special forces are also, or power armor, uh, 20 come with with uh, demo teams, fire teams, good stuff like that. So we should do okay overall. There's a river here, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, I'm only worried about not having any manpower. And we'll save just in case. And we do have, do we have enough anti tank? We do not have an anti, enough anti tank, but it should be okay. If we push out hard enough here, we can get it there fast enough, so. Um, hey, we'll see. You go to war okay, they want to beat us up immediately? Alright, um, we have no divisions up here. I'm going to actually send you two down here. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's not good. 
Um, we're gonna send you down here. They really want to beat us up, don't they? So this side will be fine. This side will be okay eventually. Um, this side should be okay as well. Should be okay overall. Could be wrong. Hopefully not. But well, that means we're in some protection. Oh yeah, because I accidentally clicked that thing for the followers of the apocalypse. Dang it. So we're going back to Wasteland Militias. Also, we're going to grab H and H Tool Company because we got that unlocked when we were scavenging for stuff, so that'll be good. Um, I need you guys to come down here too. Trying to beat the Shinekis out of us here. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. So, you know what? Let them continue doing that for now. Old World Tactics are gone, unfortunately, but that's alright for now. Right there. Help them out. See what you can do. <clears throat> really, I just want the power armor to do whatever we need to do. So, that's my biggest concern. But, let, you know what? Let them get more strength. Why not? Why not? Kind of like the Pokemon. Why not? And we're going to grab Optimized Training for even more money. Because we are suckers for money. Sometimes. Depending on what it is. Vacuum tubes are good. Uh, that's a lot of time. Grab some primitive radio. And then Embassy of Christ. Ooh. Permanent. Oh, wow. Permanent 25% reduction in quarrying costs. That's actually pretty good. We're going to wait for that one. Um, vehicle. Industry. Well, evolution of the guard. For the better part of 100 years, Heaven's Gate has been protected by the guard, an unofficial alignment of disjointed militia and mercenaries with little to no formal interaction with one another. Beyond a unified goal of protecting the gate, evolving this organization into a true military shall be no simple task. Oh, there you go. Was, ooh, we have a little bit of experience here too, huh? Nice. There you go. Arming the clergy. <coughs> The greatest among our wars have always been the clergy and the preachers. Those who go out into this barren and dangerous world with a small book and a proper big iron, dedicated to bringing God's mercy to those in need and God's wrath upon those who deserve it. Allowing these men to teach and arm the clergy shall be the first step to a proper fighting force, a mandatory service. Among the citizenry, there is often little to no desire to go forth and fight, to go forth and kill, yet it is the duty of any good Christian to protect their home, family, and those who can't protect themselves. Mandatory service as a means to an end, a method through which we shall file out the ranks under holy mission. But more than that, it is the will of our God. And that is the most important part. The will of our God. That is why we do this. A little bit of lag right there, but whatever. And we'll get the AER3 steam rifle too. Ground control, we could. Oh, I'll grab this one too, why not? A little by one to save a little bit of manpower right now. Reduce conscription. You're insane if you think we're going to do that. Let's get some of that. Crop rotations are good. A little ahead of time for that. Plenty of uh, power here. That's fine. Go there. Go there too. Three hundred losses versus almost a little over five hundred. Not bad. Aliens. Oh God. Not good. Ah, uh, yes. Good. So give a little more anti tank though, but that's alright. Um very good, very good, very good. Even though we're gonna be using lasers, I wanna use keep using gun runners, get get a lower cost for everything. So and gun wise we're doing alright now. Good, good, good. Doing decently over here. Because you're in the NCR, but we don't care. Metal working. I'll grab some of that too. Nice. No more of them recover. Go here, here, and circle them eventually. That's the plan. Um, but yeah, they're just going to keep killing themselves in the line, which is fine with us. What measures can close out of that one? Um, petition for Apollo's technology is not bad. Aid. Evolution of the guards, very good. Army of the clergy. Refined mixture is good too. RHP, reinforce rate. Love it. And the dull soul is joined. Ah, that's not good. Definitely can't lose that spot. My goodness. There you go. More soft attack is good as well. I have a good old overview. Crusader armies. Among our citizenry, there are those of zealous minds and holy body who feel that it is their duty to wage war upon the infidel and bring God to this begotten land. The so-called crusaders march forth, chanting, 
prayers and training daily with this dream to the day when they shall not take up arms fresh off in their minds. Until such a day, they shall fight and pray for heaven's gates. Military ordos. Those among the ranks who feel that there is a singular need for violence also believe in a mastery of war. To wage war upon the forgotten, one must first know of war. The Ordos military is a subsection of the church who dedicated themselves to setting biblical battles, historical records, and modern examples of large-scale war so that they might better learn and master it. I guess we probably would have well put in militias. We're done raising more forces up, unfortunately. But we're going to go to... I don't want to use that one. What do, do I? I do anyways. War propaganda is not bad, too. Let's just send bonuses. Yes, please. Crap shacks. Thank you very much. All right. So what are we going to do here? Oh. Well, okay. They want to attack again. Hold. It's fine. If they want to keep attacking, that's fine with me. And the race to heaven. The race to heaven is something of a misleading name for a cultural phenomenon that was established 30 years ago by an elderly preacher named Darren Shaw, who challenged young minds of the gate to reach for the heavens from his deathbed. While this was undoubtedly a philosophical statement, many young engineers believe that it is a challenge and an invitation to build the flying machines of old. Good. Blessings of the angels. Say that those who fly and have flown only do so because the angels, and by extension, God, allow them to. If such is true, then it can be said that all those among us who take to the skies do so with the blessings of those angels and the blessings of a beloved God. Let those who dare to soar to do so with the confidence that such faith can inspire. Wings of the angels. Yeah. For those who fly are said to soar, but not all those who soar are do, do so with planes, to so truly soar. One must embrace the experience, be free in mind and soul, body and spirit in this end. To this end, those who fly and wish to soar must know that the wings they carry that carry them are not made from metal fiber, nor are they powered by a fuel or reactor. The wings of the angels carry those who soar, and those who know this will know no fear. I don't need to recon on the guys just yet, so. Oh my we gotta go with the blessed grenade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh wow. Um so we get are continue to expand themselves as well. We're going to go to well-funded militias. And ascension achieved. Those who fly on their behalf fear not the fall nor the rise, for they know in their heart of hearts that their souls already have risen. Their bodies are but vessels for the will of the Lord, as they are of the few who have risen high enough to see within the, see with the naked eye that which was a world God created. The ruined beauty of that which we squandered. Death is mercy, and death in his name, and honor. But I'm going to end it there. I'm going to finish this war off screen. And uh, next episode, we're going to be expanding a lot. As we're slowly building up our army to be bigger, greater, better, more powerful, especially with our special forces. Or really power armor. If you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we have a lot more fun with Heaven's Gate. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.